Having adjusted the caster wheel settings, if you continue to observe that your sweeper is not performing satisfactorily, it is probably time to replace the brushes. Your new brush kit will contain four conical shaped wafers and a variable number of wavy shaped wafers, depending on the overall width of the sweeper. To make the swap, you will need a 17mm socket, a 22mm socket, and a socket wrench, preferably half inch drive, with 14 inches of extensions. Do not use an impact driver or air tools for this procedure to avoid damaging the nutserts on the sweeper drum. With the sweeper attached to the tractor, engage the PTO. Then elevate the sweeper slightly by placing a block under the sweeper transmission as close to the tractor as possible. On one end of the sweeper, use the 17mm socket to loosen and remove the four bolts securing the end plate to the sweeper drum. With the end plate off, carefully remove each wafer. Now is a good time to check that the nut securing the drum to the transmission shaft is tight. Look through the end of the hollow drum, locate the nut, and tighten if loose using a 22mm socket with extensions that measure at least 14 inches. Begin installing the new wafers by sliding a conical wafer to the base of the drum, with the cone facing the center of the transmission. Position the single locator pin of the wafer so that the squared corner of the counter-rotating drum will immediately contact and push the pin. Next, slide on one of the wavies until it contacts the conical wafer, making sure that the two locator pins straddle one of the corners. Continue sliding on wavies, the number of which depends on your sweeper model. In this case, seven on each side for the 30-inch model. Most importantly, make sure the crown points of the new wafer contact the crown points of the previous wafer. If installed incorrectly, the new wafer will merely nest with the previous one. After adding the requisite number of wavies, slide on a conical wafer, this time with the cone facing outward. More often than not, the curves of the new wavies will make this difficult. So if there is no room on the drum, omit the conical wafer and use the plate and bolts to compress just the wavies. Now try to include the conical wafer, making sure that the locator pin will be pushed by the square corner of the counter-rotating drum. If the bolts are not sufficiently long, we suggest using four 10mm bolts with a 1.5 thread pitch, at least 50mm in length, and fully threaded. If you do use long bolts, replace them with the original bolts and washers. If the washers are dome-shaped, make sure the dome is facing outward. Tighten fully, doing so evenly in an alternating pattern. After repeating this procedure on the opposite side, the last step is to adjust the caster wheel setting to account for the larger diameter of the new wafers. To do this, rearrange the spacers above and below the wheel bracket to lower the wheels so that the bristles are just contacting the surface you want swept. As the wafers wear with use, the wheel height will need to be readjusted. Maintaining proper adjustment of the sweeper will greatly extend the life of the brushes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this video, please call 1-800-543-1040 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.